Hi there, it's Nicole for Lawn Fawn, and today's card features the new Winter Scripty Sayings stamp set, as well as the new Scalloped Rectangle Stackables. And I've used the Toboggan Together stamp set as, and snowy backdrops and stitched hillside borders. Lots of fun Lawn Fawn goodies here. To start my card, I have die cut some watercolor cardstock using one of the stitched rectangles dies. These layer perfectly with the new scalloped stackables rectangles. And so I'm going to be matting this rectangle on a scalloped mat before I place it on my card base. Then I'm applying some Blueprint Sketch Distress Ink to a good portion of this rectangle. Part of the bottom is gonna be covered up so I didn't bother coloring the entire background. I'm just gonna do probably two thirds of this piece. This is gonna be the sky for the scene that I'm creating with the Toboggan Together stamp set images. Next, I'm taking the snowy border from the Snowy Backdrops stamp set and I'm going to ink it up with the Lawn Fawn Yeti pigment ink and stamp that over the top portion here just where that blue blueprint sketch distress ink is for a snowy background. I'm gonna die cut another rectangle from smooth white cardstock. From this rectangle, I am going to die cut two stitched hillside borders. This is gonna be the snow along the bottom of the card. I'm gonna just tape these in place with a little post-it tape. And that way I can get two borders from one rectangle. Go ahead and run that through my die cutting machine. On the border that's going to be on the forefront of the card, that is where I'm going to add my stamped greeting from the Winter Scripty Sayings stamp set. I'll be using the Seasons Greeting border and I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that with some black licorice Lawn Fawn ink. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that off once. I haven't used that stamp before and a lot of times I like to stamp it off on a scrap piece of paper first to make sure that I'm gonna get a really nice stamped impression on my finished piece. So there is that great little border. I love the little loops and the whimsical look of the greeting. On my scrap piece of smooth white cardstock now, I am gonna stamp the penguins from the Toboggan Together stamp set, plus the Santa hat. So I'm gonna use both penguins, the Santa hat, the stack of snowballs, and the individual snowball. And then I'll color in these images with Copic markers. These are all gonna be used to build the fun little scene of the penguins throwing snowballs. Next, I'm taking the Noble Fur dye ink from Lawn Fawn and stamping that tree. At first, I thought I might do the first and second generation stamping. I've done that before with this ink, but I decided on this one, I'm just gonna use the first generation stamping. And I ended up stamping five of those trees with the Noble Fur ink. It's a nice, deep, dark, really nice Christmassy green. I'm gonna start coloring in my images now with Copic markers. The colors I'm using are shown across the bottom of the screen here. I'm using some very light, warm gray markers for the stomach area of the penguin. Before I add any of the additional color that those light grays really look so dark and almost too dark for that white area of the penguin. But once I build up the darker portion of the penguin with the darker warm grays, which are warm gray eight, six, and five, it really starts looking a little bit better. And then with the addition of the oranges for the beak and the feet, it looks even, even better. So I like adding a little color to anything that's supposedly supposed to be white because other, otherwise I think it looks a little flat. I did add some little dots there to the tummy portion and some R20 for the cheeks. I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the other penguin. And this really gives you a good idea of how that looks. So when you're adding those light warm grays, the 0, 0, 1, and 2 marker colors to the white, quote unquote, white area of the penguin, how dark they look. But once you apply those darker grays, the warm gray 5, 6, and 8, it definitely gives that penguin lots of fun um, texture and dimension. I went ahead and applied my darkest color first on this one. 
then my mid-tone color and finish with my lightest. I would definitely want to keep these pink, the dark part of the penguins as dark as possible without it being pitch black. You want to work up to the black color with your gray markers in whatever gray uh, colors you'll be using, whether it's the cool grays, the tonal grays, or the warm grays like I'm using here. A color in the Santa hat with R24 and R29. Just a couple colors here. And then I'm going to use the light warm grays to add some color to the brim of the Santa hat and the tip as well as the snowballs. Very, very light, only using warm gray 1 and 00, zero for those. And then I'm going to take all the coordinating toboggan together dies and place those right over all those images using a little post-it tape to tape them in place. I'm taking some Elizabeth Craft Snips scissors to cut apart any dies that I hadn't previously cut apart. These make it so easy to cut apart any of those dies that you get that might coordinate with stamp sets. It's the easiest way I have found to cut those apart and be able to get them apart so you can use them for your projects. By taping so many of these or these dies in place over the images, you can die cut lots with one pass of the machine. So I'm basically going to die cut everything but the additional trees with one pass of my machine and then I can go back and die cut the remaining trees. I just find this is the easiest way to do it and the quickest way so that I don't have to continually be cranking my machine to die cut each of the images. Once I have all of these die cut, I'm pretty much ready to put my card all together. I just need to die cut those trees. I'm going to go ahead and pop all these out. I do keep my dies on a little magnetic sheet here. These are from ellenhudson.com and I place them in the back with my stamp set. If they coordinate with a stamp set, I like to keep them with the stamps. It makes it easy to, I don't have to go to separate places to find them. And the magnetic sheet makes it easy to pop them right on there so I don't lose any dies. Go ahead and start putting my card together. I'm going to start by placing that back hillside, stitched hillside border die cut along the bottom of my card. Go ahead and place the one with the stamped greeting on top of that. And then I'll use some glue dots. Because these die cuts are fairly small, I find the best way to attach them is with glue dots. Um, I'm using the small size glue dots for these. You could probably even go up to the medium size for some of the pieces. I find I use the small Zots glue dots and the bling size the most, so that's what I usually have readily available. Go ahead and place that hat on the penguin. And I'm tucking the trees kind of behind and then, or in front of and then behind each of these snowy borders to give it a more realistic look. I always think this is the most fun part of building the card design is bringing it all together and building, especially if you're creating a scene card, when you're building up that scene and it come, the image in your head translates to what you're creating with the paper. So I'm going to tuck the rest of those trees in. Kind of forgotten how exactly I'd had it when I laid it all out. So I moved that one tree back, go ahead and tuck my last one in place, and then I can add my other penguin and the stack of snowballs next to him and then the penguin there on the left I'm going to have him throwing a snowball. In the toboggan, toboggan together stamp set there is a great little um, movement type stamp. I'm going to stamp that right there above his hand so it looks like he's throwing that snow and then I can attach that individual snowball with a bling glue dot maybe even a small one I think I maybe even used the small it was small enough for that I'm going to use the Sakura black gel pen for the eyes to really make them pop. And I'm going to go in and quickly add just a little bit of color with the warm gray markers to that movement stamp that I added. A little wink of Stella clear glitter brush pen to the brim of the hat and the little ball. And then I'm using some glossy accents on the noses and feet of the penguins. 
I'll set that aside to air dry. I'm die cutting the scalloped rectangle from some black cardstock. I'll mat the panel on that and then adhere the entire thing to a white card base from Simon Says Stamp. This is a side fold card base. Already cut to size, so I'll place that rectangle there and then add my scene and this card is all finished. Thanks for watching this video showcasing the Lawn Fawn Winter Scripty Sayings stamp set and scalloped stackables dies. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Please subscribe for weekly card making and stamping videos. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.